Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Bruna. Today, as you can see by the title, we are going to be recreating Doja's cat bucket hat that she was wearing in one of her lives. It's the life that she's making a song, rapping, creating a rapping song for Taco Bell. I think it's called Jingle. I'm not gonna say because probably I'm gonna say it wrong. <laughs> that live was really fun. I really liked it. The song is right at the end. You must watch it and listen to the song. It's so, so fun. And of course, she was wearing a bucket hat and I couldn't just go without recreating one and making one for myself because it was so, so cute. So that's what we are going to be making in today's video and I really hope you like it. So the very first thing that we are going to be talking about in today's video will be the yarn I'm going to be using. These are the two yarns that we are going to be using in today's video. I have here cream and brown. The original, the one that she's wearing, it's black and white. I don't have any black yarn at home, so we are going to have to work with brown so you can do it in any shade you want this one is wait for by teslan.com and this is called the bravissimo yarn i'm going to be leaving that in the description if you want to check it out and for the tools i am using a four millimeters hook a small pair of scissors tapestry needle some little clips you will see why i use these it's just to help us to sew things together and the last thing I'm going to be using will be a tape measure. This one has a massive strawberry on top. I've created this little cover in one of my previous videos, so you can go and watch that if you want to. I'm going to be linking this in the description. So these are all the materials I'm going to be using, and now we can start with the tutorial. First, creating the sunburst granny square. This one has five rounds that I'm going to show you how to make and it measures exactly to 12 centimeters. So it's 12 by 12 centimeters, as you can see. So first starting with your cream white yarn. In this case, I'm using cream. I'm going to be making a slip knot, and then we are going to be chaining four. So one, two, three, and four. So we are going to be working the very first round around this chain here into the very first one so now you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook you're going to go into this very very first chain the very first one you made you want to make sure that you grab two loops into this chain just like this two loops and then you're going to be making the very first double crochet the last loop you just want to make sure that you pull a little bit high so it's leveled with all the other loops like this and then you're going to be making a double crochet just like that and then into that same chain you want to continue creating double crochets until you have 15 double crochets we are counting the chain three at the beginning as a stitch so in total we are going to be having 16 stitches so now here, as you can see, we have 16 stitches all the way around. What you want to do now is find the chain that it's right at the beginning. You will find the very first chain at the top. You can always count. There is one, two, the third chain. You're going to be inserting your hook into that stitch and then you're going to pull up a loop and leave it exactly like this so that we can bring the next shade. You can go ahead and cut this one off because we're now going to be changing the shade so we can cut it off. So first you wanna make sure that the base here of the white, the first round is nice and tight. And then you're going to be grabbing the next shade we're using, I'm using brown, and then fold the end. You're going to be grabbing this yarn and you're going to be passing it through both loops, just like this. Now we have transitioned into the next shade. So now we can go ahead and start round two. So first we are going to be chaining two and then we are going to be creating puff stitches all the way around. So you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook. You're going to be inserting into this very first one that we did the joining of the next shade right here. And then you're going to pull up a loop, wrap it around the hook, go into that same stitch, pull up a loop, wrap it around the hook, go into the same stitch and pull up a loop. So for this one, we are going to be doing three wraparounds. For the next one is going to be different because we don't have the chain two at the beginning. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through 
all the loops and then chain one. Now you're going to be finding the next stitch. You can always go around and count to know which one is going to be the next one you have to go to. So go ahead now and find the next stitch. Mine is right here. And then you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook, insert into the next stitch and then pull up a loop. Wrap it around the hook, insert into that same stitch, pull up a loop nice and high. And then you're going to be doing that two more times. So four wraparounds in total. Once you have the four wraparounds, you're going to yarn over and pull through all loops together, all the way into the last one. And then you're going to chain one and repeat the same all the way around. Puff stitch with four wraparounds, three and four, yarn over and pull through all loops, chain one and continue. So now I'm gonna go around repeating the same steps, creating my puff stitches until I have 16 puff stitches in total. So now I'm going to be making my last puff stitch. And then chain one following the pattern. So now you're going to be skipping the chain two right at the beginning, you can see here, into the next stitch you can find right after the chain two mine is right here we are going to pull up a loop into that stitch and slip stitch just to close the second round now we can chain one cut off yarn and fasten off so now bring back the white yarn create a slip knot and let's attach this in place to create the third round so choose any stitch to start. I'm going to be doing it right here. You will see that the chain two is going to be kind of on the way, but don't worry about that. Just go right into the chain one space, any chain one space you want. So into that chain one, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, attaching with a single crochet. That's what I usually do. And then I'm going to chain one. For the next round, we are going to be doing some clusters of four double crochets together. So into that same stitch, you're going to be doing the first part of a double crochet and then you're going to yarn over and pull through two, keeping that last one on the hook. And then you're going to be doing that two more times. So wrap the yarn around the hook, go into that same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, keeping that last one on the hook and then do that one last time. So you have four stitches into the cluster so now you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops together. And then right after that, we are going to chain two. And now we can move on into the next chain one space. So we are skipping the next puff stitch and right into the chain one, we are going to be making another cluster. So create the first part of a double crochet. So wrap the yarn around the hook, go into the next chain one and pull up a loop the first part of a double crochet and then you're going to yarn over pull through two and then repeat the same three more times leaving the last loop on the hook and then once you have five loops on the hook as you can see you're going to yarn over pull through all loops and here the cluster is completed chain two and move on into the next chain one space and repeating exactly the same step and for this round you are going to be having 16 clusters around so we are basically following all the chain ones that we have going around the second round so now i'm here into my last chain one space I'm going to be creating my last cluster here once you have the last cluster, chain two, and then you're going to be slip stitching right at the top of this very first one. So right at the beginning, we have the single crochet and the chain one into the next stitch available, which is this one. I'm going to then slip stitch, and now we can chain one, cut off yarn, fasten off, and now going back into the brown yarn, we are going to be creating a slip knot and attaching into any of the two chain spaces. I'm going to be doing it right here. 
So into that chain two, go around it, and then attach with a single crochet. And then we are going to chain one, and now we can start the square around this round here. So into this same chain two space, we are going to be doing two double crochets. So here's going to be a corner, and then we are going to be chaining two, and into that same chain two space, we are going to be doing three double crochets. Chain one, and then into the next chain two space, we are going to be doing three double crochets. So one, two, three, chain one, into the next chain two space, we are going to be doing three half double crochets. To create a half double crochet, you create the first part of a double crochet, and then you just yarn over and pull through all loops. So that's a half double crochet. So one, two, and three half double crochets, chain one, into the next chain two space, three double crochets, chain one, and now we can repeat again, corner, three double crochets, three half, and three double crochets into the next four chain two spaces. So into the next one is going to be a corner, so it's going to be three double crochets, a chain of two, and three double crochets and then chain one into the next chain two we are going to be doing three double crochets chain one into the next chain two three half double crochets and then chain one into the next chain two three double crochets and then chain one and repeat again. So now you can go ahead and keep on repeating the same, going all the way around until you have four corners completed. So when you get into the very last chain two space, you're going to be making three double crochets. And this is the ending of our round number four. Then you're going to chain one and slip stitch into the very very first stitch so you're going to be basically skipping here the chain that we've created the single crochet in the chain one and going to the very first stitch you can find and then slip stitch and now we can do the last and fifth round so you're going to be starting with a chain of two turn square so now you're going to be having the wrong side facing you and then into the very first chain one that you can find, you're going to be creating two half double crochets. This entire round is going to be with half double crochets so that we can have the 12 centimeters square. So chain one into the next chain one space, three half double crochets, and then chain one, three half double crochets into the next chain one space, chain one, and then three half double crochets into the next chain one space. Now we got into the corner, so you're going to be chaining one, and then for the corner, we are going to be doing exactly the same, but instead of double crochets, we are doing with half double crochets. So it's going to be three half double crochets, a chain of two, and three half double crochets. And this is how we are going to be doing the last round. So every time you see a chain one space, you're going to be doing three half double crochets, and then corner on top of corner, but instead of double crochets, you're going to be doing with half double crochets. So I'm going to be repeating all the way around the same steps. At the end, you're going to chain one 
and then just find any stitch right at the beginning and then you're going to slip stitch both sides together now we can chain one cut off yarn fasten off and then we can weave all of the yarns that we have here at the back of the square so once you have the weaving completed this is how the square looks like so you're going to be making four squares exactly the same as this one so i have mine completed i just finished the last one with you guys so one two three and four sunburst granny squares so now we are going to be making the base the crown of our bucket hat so first you're going to go ahead and make the three very first rounds and then once you have the three completed come back and then i'm going to show you what you're going to be doing next so now as you can see i have my three rounds completed now we are going to be doing two more rounds around this one but it's going to be a round so that we can create the crown so with the brown go ahead and make a slip knot and then attach this yarn into any of the chain two spaces i do with the single crochet so go ahead and chain one just to start and then into this very first chain two space we are going to be doing two double crochets and then we are going to chain two going to the next chain two space and then three double crochets chain two three double crochets into the next chain two space chain two and then keep on repeating creating three double crochets into every chain two space all the way around and chaining two in between the little groups of three double crochets so now i'm here into my last chain two space so i'm doing here my last three double crochets there we go so now i'm going to chain one and then slip stitch into the very first stitch i can find into the other side and now we can start the last round so I'm going to chain two, turn my project. So now for round number five, we are going to be doing four double crochets instead of three into the chain two space. So into this very first one, we are going to be doing three double crochets because we have the chain two at the beginning. And then chain two, and then four double crochets into the next chain two space chain two four double crochets into the next chain two space chain two and now carry on repeating the same all the way around so four double crochets into every chain two space and then chain two in between the groups of four double crochets so i have finished the last four double crochets i'm going to then chain two and slip stitch right at the beginning of the first group there we go and now we can fasten off so chain one cut off yarn and fasten off so the crown it's now completed as you can see i still have to do the weave in in which i'm gonna do soon before we move on into the next step and the crown should be now measuring 14 and a half centimeters if you need this bigger then what you're going to be doing it's into the next round you're going to be doing just one more double crochet and then if you need even bigger then you're just going to carry on adding one double crochet every time you go up if you need the square bigger then what you're going to be doing is following the granny square pattern in which is round number four of the square until you have the sizing that you need to reach the sizing of 
your head circumference and all you have to do to find exactly the sizing of your head circumference of squares it's taking your head circumference measurement and then you're going to be dividing it by the numbers of squares you're going to be doing we are doing four so you're going to be dividing the head circumference measurement into four and that's going to be the sizing of your square my head circumference as i've mentioned it's 58 centimeters so my square was supposed to be 14 and a half centimeters but because it does stretch quite a lot i've taken away two and a half centimeters of each of the squares so you can do that as well and that should work perfectly for any other measurement that you're going to be doing for any other size that you want to do so now i'm going to go ahead and just weave in all of the yarns that i have here at the back of my crown and then once i have this completed i will be back and then we are going to be starting to join everything together so now i have the crown completed we can leave this aside for now and we are going to first join all of the four granny squares together for what i can see in the picture we have a single crochet joining going across so you can actually see the single crochets on the outside in which that's my favorite joining when it comes to granny squares and squares like this so to do that first you want to lay all your squares down right side facing you and then we are going to be doing the sewings with the white yarn so make a slip knot and get two of the squares together like this wrong sides facing and we are going to be joining from the beginning to the end with single crochets and then later we can join all the other squares and close into a band so going to any of the corners from one square and then into the corner of the other square go through both stitches and single crochet and then now we are going to be following the stitches that we have from both sides and sewing them together so into the very first one so here we have three half double crochets Go into the first one from this side and the first one of the other side. There we go. And then you're going to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through, into the next stitch from both sides, single crochet, next stitch of both sides, single crochet. Once you get into the chain one space, single crochet around both sides and then just keep on following the same all the way down you want to make sure that you get all the stitches down so don't skip any of the stitches Once you get at the end, you're going to be following the same steps, following the stitches down. So here we go into the corner. So you're just following one of the sides. And then once you get into the chain two, just go into the corner of this side and the other together, pull up a loop and single crochet. And that's it so now we are going to chain one cut off yarn and fasten off now you're going to be bringing the other square put the two together remember wrong sides facing and then you're going to be following the same step and then once you have this bring the other one put it together sew it close and then once I have the four squares together, I will be back and then to show you how to close into the band that goes around your head. So as you can see, I have all of the squares joined together. Now we have to join the first square with the last. So all you have to do is to turn the squares here on the reverse, join both first and last square, and now we can sew this two close following the same steps so I'm gonna go ahead and do that all right 
right, here we have the band now completed. So now we have to sew the crown into one of the sides. It can be any top or bottom. It's going to be up to you. I'm going to be doing this side. And we are going to be having four groups of four double crochets for each square. So you wanna make sure that you fit all these stitches here into four groups of four double crochets from one side to the other. Remember that we have the chain of two here, so one of the chains will be for this sewing and the other will be for the other sewing. I'm going to be also using some of these clips to clip this in place so that we know exactly from where to where we have to do the sewing. Just so we have an idea of how much we have to sew. And we are also going to be doing the single crochet joining and sewing for the top of the book attached too. So get the white yarn, create a slip knot, and now we can start sewing. Also remember that all the sewings with the single crochets we are doing with the right side on the outside. So you're going to be starting into the very first corner of any of the squares where we did the sewing, the very first one. So insert your hook into this corner and into and around the chain two of the crown and single crochet. So now find the next stitch available into the square and then the next stitch of the crown and then single crochet, next stitch of the square and the next stitch of the crown, single crochet, and then repeat the same all the way down. You will see that you're probably gonna have two less stitches um, here where the squares are because here we have 22 and I think we have 20 for the squares. So when you get into the chain one of the square, you're gonna get a stitch of the other side, single crochet, and the next stitch of the square, and then you can go into the chain two of the crown. Just one chain, you don't have to go into both. Next stitch of the square and the next stitch of the crown. Sew it together with a single crochet. And then you're just going to be following that same step all the way down. So as you can see, at the end, I got into the end of the square and then I have the chain two of the crown. So I'm just using the chain two of the crown to finish here the sewing together. And then I'm going to be removing the next clip. So I'm gonna go into the corner of the square and the next stitch of the crown. So when I get into the sewing here, I'm just gonna get one stitch of the sewing. And then I'm gonna go into the same stitch, the last one I did. And then I'm going to just single crochet, just so that it has a nice finish here at the top. And now I can just carry on sewing both together. Just remember to make the crown fit around all the four squares. If you have to skip any stitch, feel free to do so. You might need to skip one or two stitches here and there. So now I'm just going to carry on sewing the crown into the squares. And then once I have this finished, I will be back and then we can do the next step together. So when you get towards the end, you're going to be following the same steps. Just one stitch on both sides and creating a single crochet until there is no more stitches. So I just finished my last two, as you can see. And then when you get right, right at the end, when you have one stitch left in which would be the corner. So go through the corner and the chain two here in the crown and then create a single crochet. And now just to finish it off, we are gonna go through one stitch of the sewing 
of the square and then that chain two space go through both and then single crochet just so we have a nice finishing here we are just going to find the very first single crochet we did for the sewing of the crown and then we can just slip stitch now chain one cut off yarn and fasten off so now we have the sewing of the crown completed you can see i went all the way around so now before I move on into creating the brim with you guys, I'm going to do all the weave ends here on the reverse so that we don't have to do when we finish the brim. And basically we have this finished. So I'm going to weave all of my ends in and then I will be back to show you how to crochet the brim. So I have all the weave ends now completed. I'm going to turn back on the right side so that we can do the brim. And I just wanted to measure for you to see the measurement right now before we add the brim. So it's 25 centimeters. From top to bottom, it's 17 centimeters. Now, turn your bucket hat this way so you have the bottom now and we are going to be making the brim i can see in the picture you can see right here that there is kind of like a white line going across into the very beginning of the brim so what i'm going to be doing is creating single crochets just into this very first round and then i have a really good idea uh, to create the brim because the brim actually doesn't look like it has double crochets just going around. It seems like it's made out of shells. I'm not sure, but that's what I can see. And that's what we are going to be doing. So first, get your white yarn and then make a slip knot. And we are going to be attaching this yarn into any chain one space so go ahead and attach this yarn into any chain one space and then we are going to be following what we have into the previous round and creating single crochets on top so here we have three half double crochets so we are going to be making three single crochets one in each stitch just like that now we have a chain one space so we are going to be doing one single crochet into that and then three half double crochets. So one single crochet into the next three stitches. And then carry on repeating that until you reach the sewing of the first square. So when you get into this section, we are going to be making one single crochet into the corner. You can see here, that's a corner. And then one single crochet grabbing one stitch of the sewing right here and then going to the other side you're going to be finding the other corner so single crochet into that corner and now we can start again following the stitches so i'm going to be doing this all the way around and then i'm going to meet you right here at the end so when you get at the end just keep on following the stitches you have until you find the very first single crochet and then you're gonna go into that first single crochet and then slip stitch, chain one, cut off yarn and fasten off. So now here we have the very first round of the brim with single crochets. So now bring the next shade, create a slip knot. So we are going to be attaching the next shade into any of the chain one spaces because we are going to be doing something a little bit different and working into the chain one spaces, the actual stitch of the square and then one of the single crochets. You will see what I mean. And then you're gonna go around the chain one space, going around the single crochet and you're going to be attaching with a single crochet into this stitch and then we are going to chain one and then going around this same stitch we are going to be making four 
double crochets. So I just made a little bit lighter so you can see. So we have the chain at the beginning and four double crochets. So now you are going to be finding the middle single crochet here in between the three half double crochets. Into that single crochet, we are going to be making a single crochet. And then now you found the next chain one space. So into this one going around, the chain one and around the single crochet, we are going to be making five double crochets. Three, four, and five. Just like this. So now into the middle single crochet of the three half double crochets, this one, we are going to be making a single crochet. And this is what we are going to be doing all the way around. And I'm now getting here towards the sewing, so I have to show you here so you know exactly what you have to do. And then single crochet into the middle single crochet of the half double crochets. And now I got into the sewing. So I'm going to be doing a shell, so five double crochets into this very first space that I can find. So now here we have more single crochets to get into the next chain one space. So we are going to be skipping the one on top of the sewing, the following one and into the next single crochet we are going to be doing a single crochet and then from here we are gonna go into the chain one space and creating the shell, so the five double crochets. And this is what you're going to be doing when you get here into the sewing. You're gonna have a bigger space here but it's not gonna matter that much once you have all the shells completed. So I'm going to be doing this all the way around and then I'll meet you right at the end. So now to finish it off, we are going to be creating the single crochet in between the three single crochets here into the half double crochets. So right in the middle. And then we are going to be finding the very first stitch of the first shell. So we have here the single crochet and the chain one. And then you're gonna go into the first stitch of the double crochet, of the first double crochet, and then you go into a slip stitch. Now, we can start the second round. So we are going to be basically creating double crochets on top of what we already have, but we are going to be making an increase right into the middle double crochet. So we are going to be starting with a chain of two and then double crochet into that same stitch. So now we got into the middle stitch of this shell. So into the middle stitch, we are going to be doing an increase and the increase will be two double crochets into the same stitch. And now we have two, the two last double crochets of this shell. So we are going to be doing one double crochet into the next two. And this is basically what we are going to be doing on top of the shell, of each of the shells. Now we got into the single crochet, so into the single crochet we are going to be doing a single crochet. And now we got into the next shell, so into the very first two stitches, we are going to be doing one double crochet. Now into the middle stitch, an increase, so two double crochets into the same stitch. And then now we got into the last two, so one double crochet into the next two stitches and then a single crochet on top of the single crochet. And now we can repeat again the same into all the shells going around. So I'm now here into the last double crochet of my last shell. When you get at the end, you're gonna have the single crochet, so single crochet into the last single crochet, and then you're going to be slip stitching into any of the chains that we've created here. So we have a chain of two, so go into the second chain and then slip stitch both sides together. Now we can chain one, cut off yarn and fasten off. The brim for this bucket hat is not super long, but you can actually do as long as you want. This one 
is in total three centimeters. It's just more for like a little detail as an actual brim <laughs> to cover the sun, light and things like that. It's more like a little statement brim. And I really like it like this. If you want to add more rounds to your brim, um, you can and the only thing that you're going to be doing it's increasing one of the stitches of the shell exactly as we did for the last round it's what you're going to be doing for all of the others uh, for this one we are not going to be having a middle stitch so just increase maybe the third or the fourth double crochet if you want to increase the sizing of your brim so now the last step is to bring back the white yarn create a slip knot and we are going to be making single crochets all the way around as a finishing detail and that's the last step yes so so fun so any stitch i'm doing this one and then into that stitch i'm going to be attaching with a single crochet and then from here we are going to be following every stitch and create single crochets on top so we have an extra stitch here so this one is stitch number four of the shell. This is five. And then the next one is number six. Now the next one is going to be a single crochet. And then now we got into where we did the joining with the slip stitch. So find the first stitch where you did the slip stitch. And then the second double crochet, number three, four, five and then the last double crochet of this shell and now we go into the single crochet again so single crochet into the single crochet and then single crochet into the next six stitches of the shell so now we go into the single crochet right here single crochet into that single crochet and now you can just follow the stitches and create single crochets all the way around. And this is how it's going to look. It's going to kind of follow the shells and is going to be creating a wavy brim in which it looks really, really nice. So I'm going to continue with my single crochets and then I'll meet you right at the end. So now I'm here into my last stitch. So this is going to be my last single crochet. Now I have to just go into the first single crochet and slip stitch the two sides together, chain one, cut off yarn, and fasten off. Now I have the book attached completed, I'm going to do the weave-ins that I have to do here at the end, and then I will be back to show you how it looks like on. All right, so here we have the book attached now completed, I've finished all the weave-ins, and it's looking so cute, look at it. It's actually so similar to hers. I would say that the brim is a little bit different, but of course we are not copying exactly like that. That's just an inspiration. We are just kind of recreating her bucket hat so that we have a similar one. And I loved how mine turned out. So now we're going to be trying it on for the first time together. I just made some braids on both sides. I think it looks really nice with bucket hats. So now let's try it on together, shall we? Oh my goodness! I'm just looking here in the little screen in the camera so I can see how it looks. It's so pretty! What do we think about it? Let me know in the comments what you think about this bucket hat on how it turned out. I love it! It fits amazing! It fits like a glove. It's just so pretty. I'm impressed. I love it. Hers actually goes down a little bit. I think she just put it down like this so that the brim is not kind of sticking out. I think she just places down a little bit. So it's going to be up to you how you want to wear this. I like it a little bit sticking out, <laughs> but that's just 
what I prefer. You can do however you want, but I think it looks incredible. It's so similar to hers. I keep looking this way because I'm just looking at myself. Rate this one to 10, how similar you think they look. This is the original one. Oh well, the one that she's wearing in the video and this is my take on it. What do you think? I think it's legit. I think it's pretty similar. One thing that I know that I did different was the top of the bucket hat. I know that people that create these type of bucket hats, they add a square at the top. I don't like the look of that. That's why I did round instead of square, but it's going to be up to you if you want to do a square and attach it at the top. I think it's going to work perfectly because you are basically just sewing around and you're not gonna have any problems when doing that. I just think that it adds little horns at the front of the bucket hat and at the back, so that's why I don't like to add the square. But it's going to be completely up to you how you wanna do that. Also the brim, you can customize it and you can just make it to your liking. So yeah, this is it. This is my take on recreating Doja's cat bucket hat the one that she's wearing in her video in her live i have to stop talking otherwise the outro is going to be 10 minutes long <laughs> so thank you everyone to watch all the way until the end i really really hope you guys have enjoyed my take on creating her bucket hat i had a lot of fun as you can see i always have a lot of fun uh, with my videos and my crochets. So thank you so so much for watching. If you did enjoy don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. So thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye bye!